Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily get an access token to play with the Power BI Embedded Playground. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, Power BI Embedded Playground. What the heck is that? The Playground is a web page that you can go to try out Power BI Embedded without actually writing code. So you can explore the JavaScript API, you can explore reports, dashboard, all, wait, hang on. Enough of this talking, let's head over to my machine and actually look at it. All right, this is the Power BI Embedded Playground. As I mentioned, it gives you those capabilities of exploring embedded reports from Power BI. You can see here that I've got options for all the different uh, visual types here, so reports, report visual, Q&A, dashboard, tile, so on and so forth. We're gonna focus in on the report aspect of this, and we will see that we've got some options here. It looks a little scary, especially if you don't have a developer background. Hopefully, if you're using Power BI Embedded, you have a developer background because you're gonna have to write some code. But this allows you to at least explore what the possibilities are. So one thing we'll start off with is you need to have some items here to tell it what report or dashboard or whatever it is you're embedding to go after. We're focusing in on embedding a report and you'll see here it requires an embed token, an embed URL and a report ID. That embed URL is going to have the report ID and workspace ID as part of it or group ID. And with those items, I can just come over and say run and this will actually embed the report. This comes with a sample item as well. So all the items have samples. You don't have to bring your own, but the reason we probably want to play around with this is we want to see what our reports look like within this tool and how we can interact with our items to give it a test run. And you'll notice before I said that it requires an embed token. So what is an embed token? An embed token is what's actually needed from an authentication standpoint, because with Power BI embedded, it's for external users that don't know anything about Power BI and probably don't even have a Power BI login. And so you need to proxy it through like a master account or a service principal, and then they can get access to those items. So the embed token is how we do this. If we head over to the REST API documentation, you can see that there are a bunch of items that you can call. You have to call this for each item that you're embedding and the actual API element is generate token. And that will give you the embed token that you can use with your application. But that requires code. You gotta write, it's a REST API. You gotta write some code to get that. And I mentioned in the intro that we're gonna do this easily, right? We wanna be efficient just for testing purposes. So how do we get a token to use without writing code? Before we get into that, I also wanna just highlight real quick, I said we wanna do this with our own report. So let's take a quick look at the report we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go over to my workspace. It's my guy in a cube workspace. I'm gonna go to reports and I've got a report here called slicers and filters. And this is my report. I've got the filter pane. I've also got a filters tab where I've actually got some filters applied and we can go ahead and play around with them. I wanna play around with those from a JavaScript perspective. A couple things you're gonna to need to actually get this token is you're gonna need the workspace ID or group ID and the report ID. You can get those from the URL up above. You can see I've got my group GUID, which is my workspace ID. And then for reports, I've got my report ID, which is the GUID that's listed there after reports. Excellent. All right, so how do we get this token easily, efficiently, right? enter in the Power BI PowerShell commandlets. And so let's head over here. So the PowerShell Power BI commandlet or the Power BI PowerShell commandlets are a commandlet that you can use to interact with the Power BI REST APIs. If we look under profile, one of the things we have here is get Power BI access token. It does exactly what it says. It's gonna give us that token by just entering in a single command, not writing code, which is awesome. All right, so let's take a look and see how this works. So let's go ahead and log in. All right, we are logged in with my Guy in a Cube account. You will need to log in with an account that has access to the content. So in this case, you have to be a member of the workspace. Also, you need to either have a pro license or be backed by premium capacity. Technically, you could do this off of your My Workspace as well, in which case you wouldn't need a pro license or the premium capacities because it's just in your My Workspace. So you could do that. All right, then let's run this command.
bam, there's our access token. However, it's a little cut off and we need to be able to copy and paste this into the app. So let's run this again and we will add as string. Then we get our token. So we wanna copy everything except for the bearer piece in the beginning. So just the actual raw token, we'll copy that. Now let's head back over to the playground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this up. So I'm gonna put in my token here. One thing to note is the token that comes from the PowerShell commandlets from that actual access token command is not an embed token. This is actually your Azure AD access token. And so we do need to flip the switch and go to AAD token instead of embed token. So just remember to do that. I'll have to copy this again because I didn't flip it. All right, now we need our embed URL and our report ID. I will grab those. Again, you can get those IDs from the URLs with inside of Power BI. And then I need my report ID. Paste that in and we'll go run it. This should show my report. And we need to make sure we actually put the GUID only in the report ID. Oops. Let's go and run that again. And bam, there's my report. Excellent. All right, and we can see that I've got my filter pane, right? Let's head over to my filter page because I said what we want to do is interact with the filters from a JavaScript perspective. So once you've run the report, we can just go over to the interact tab and you'll have all the options that you can do from a JavaScript perspective. And so we'll see filters and slicers here. And I'm gonna say get page filters because the filters that are displayed on the filter pane, it shows that those are page filters. And there's my JavaScript code. I can just copy and paste this into my application if I wanted, but we're gonna go ahead and run it. And it will then display for me the filters that are actually being on the report page. I can change this, let's change it to Australia. If I run this again, you will then see now the Australia value is there. So this is real code, this is working. I didn't write any of it, but it's working. Then I could also come down and we could see, hey, let's remove those page filters and bam, filters are gone, right? So this is cool, you can do all this stuff, this is great. All right, but what if you actually wanted the embed token? Remember I said that the token that the PowerShell commandlet gave me was my Azure AD token, not an embed token. If we go back and look, remember embed token is just a REST API call, right? So I'm gonna do uh, get a report and I'm gonna use the generate token item off of that to get that embed token. Once you've crafted that out, if we go back to the Power BI PowerShell commandlets, you will see another command here where you can invoke a Power BI REST method. So this means we could actually go run the embed token command without writing any code, right? We just need to format the URL that's needed and then run it. I don't have to do any of the heavy lifting of writing code to get that. So that's an option that you can use if you do really wanna get the embed token to use in the playground. What do you think? Is this cool? Did you know about this? Is you know, are, have you even used the playground before? Let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.